Okay. Today, I need to address a class of people. Um, you know who you are that are said to be part of the child's team. Because nowadays, kids, they don't got just their mom and dad, or mom and mom, or single mom, or dad and dad, or single dad. They don't have that. They have an entire team. An entire team. And guess what? You're the lowest person on that team as the parent. So, here's to all you child psychologist, your, your school adjustment counselors. Yeah, you. I'm talking to you. I'm talking about the therapeutic mentors. Y'all, I can't. I can't do this anymore. Y'all have created a generation of idiots. Oh my God. Oh my God. They're so stupid. It's, listen to me. I strongly contemplate whether or not my child will ever successfully be able to maintain a job. And here's why. One of y'all, all of y'all, I'm not really sure. Y'all came up with this idea of a toolbox, a, a box. I, I, I'm not even sure if it's real or imaginary. I went to Target. I did. I went to Target to buy one. A toolbox. A, a toolbox for children. More commonly known as a coping skill box. Now, if you ain't familiar with this, this is a box filled with distractions. Uh -uh. No. These are the same items I have been taking out of my kid's backpack for the past four years because she's distracted by them. And you're going to be familiar with it. Our kids now have boxes in school filled, and get this, with little squishy balls. Sometimes they're animals. Sometimes they glow in the dark. What? What is happening? Okay. No, it doesn't stop there. Fidget spinners. I thought we were done with that. I thought we didn't have to buy those anymore because they're crazy and they're fucking dangerous. They are. How about bracelets that snap? Little bracelets. Bing, bing, bing. What? 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 Why do you need that? So my kid says to me, she comes home. She's eight. She says, Mommy, I had a very, very bad day. You had a bad day. Oh, okay. But see, as a parent, you can't have that reaction anymore. Now, you got to be like, oh, my God. Let's talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I just talked to, like, 2,000 idiots at work. I'm done talking. I want to do I No. <sighs> she proceeds to tell me. My, my BFF doesn't want to be friends with me, so-and-so. She says she doesn't like me anymore. Well, A, I've met so-and-so. She's an asshole. It's not a bad thing. Good. Good. Move on. Who cares? Who cares? She's an asshole. It doesn't matter. Nope. You definitely cannot say that. Don't, don't say that. So she proceeds to go on and tell me, but I advocated for myself. Oh, did you know? You advocated for yourself? What What does that mean? Well, I, I, I utilized my, my, my coping skills box. You did. I still don't even know if it's made up. I, I don't even know. Is it a real box? Is it imaginary? I don't know. Nobody knows. She says, I chose... My break card. Look at me. Break card. That's a card, according to her, that you discreetly put on your desk. And no matter what's going on, you get to 
Wait for it. Choose another coping skill, such as, but not limited to, a squishy ball, whatever. Then you take that item and you go to your quiet space, which from my understanding is a beanbag chair. This is what my kid does. I know my kid. I know her well. She's, she's goddamn manipulative. And I said, oh, okay. And so how long did you spend there? And she says, only until spelling was over. Oh my God. Oh my, oh my God. This is why this kid can't spell. She can't spell advocacy or coping skills because she's too busy sitting on a goddamn beanbag chair with a, with a squishy ball. So thank you. Thank you, school psychologist, friggin' therapeutic mentor, the, the adjustment counselors of the world. You've created idiots, and now we somehow have to fix this. Because they ain't going to have a goddamn toolbox filled with fucking toys and a break card when they go to work. Morons. I, I'm done. I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it anymore.